Super is basically the story of this guy who doesn't have the best life, uh, Rain Wilson, and he is married to Liv Tyler, who's a recovering drug addict, uh, who leaves him for a drug dealer, the charming Kevin Bacon. And Rain Wilson does what I think anybody would do, which is uh, decides to put on a superhero movie and try to save his, his wife from the drug dealer. <laughs> We did it! We totally f***ing beat Evo! You're not supposed to kill him! This movie, Super, exists because of Twitter in a lot of ways because Rain Wilson and I um, were working on trying to get this movie made about a year and a half ago, and Ted Hope, our producer, saw a tweet about it, and he called up our agents trying to get a hold of the script and trying to figure out what was going on with it. You know, was there a producer attached to it? Was he read the script and then just kept pursuing us until he weaseled his way into to, to becoming a, a triad with us at the time. You really keyed your friend's car? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was him. <sighs> I think one of the problems with a lot of movies today, even independent films, is they're making these movies that try to appeal to everybody. And we come out of the gate saying, this movie, Super, is not for everybody. It's for some people, you know? And when you make a movie at a budget, you can afford to do that. You know, you can afford to make a movie that may not speak to your average consumer. It may not speak to my parents, although my dad loved it last night. But it's, it speaks to somebody who's a little off-center. And that's who this movie is for. And from the beginning, you know, we wanted to do something that was a little different. And yes, it's a superhero movie, but it's a really a movie about a person. And I think that the thing that is the most different about Super is the, the tonal shifts. I've learned my lesson that, you know, the movie needs to be sold as what the movie is. And so whoever the buyer is, I think, needs to accept what this film is. Again, that it's not a film for everybody. This is a movie of extremes. Um, it's very violent. Um, it's also very funny, but the comedy is very dark. And I don't want to be selling this as a goofy, uh, you know, Damon Wayne superhero movie. I don't want to be selling this as if it's only a serious drama. I don't want to be selling this movie as if it's something other than what it is. You have to teach me these things. How am I supposed to tell crime to shut up if I have to shut up? I know, but I'm just trying to help. 